we haven't started the program and i'm not starting at i'm going to start at 2 just wanted to check how are you all feeling today super excited don't start jumping from the chairs when they dance we don't have enough space for that the idea was children are coming after 2 years let us give everyone a chance to perform that is the reason why we thought of 100% attendance and uh, we are trying our best to accommodate all the children two left feet the one who cannot sing the one who cannot speak they all have put in their heart and soul and really they have worked very hard and teachers in the background don't even ask what they have gone through you will get to see the results here but when it happens the work starts on the wheels the scenario is very different each day passes and we feel oh will they be able to do it oh will they be able to do it but it is the teachers who don't give up and they keep trying in spite of parents taking leave in spite of all the emergencies that you have taken and i should not even talk about it because once i start on that it will be a very different uh, mood set so i will not talk about that but uh, we have accommodated them here so that they are comfortable it's their known environment every day they have been practicing on the same stage so it just helps the children to feel that oh we have not gone somewhere out all of a sudden and uh, in a no they where they don't get rehearsals to be done in those auditorium so we thought we'll try here with the experience of all that you have put us through and whatever we are going through we will think about it what we going to do uh, the next time this time it was 100% in school uh, annual day is mostly always after alternate years so we will see what is the scenario after one more year and then we'll take a call as in what kind of annual day we want to put up whether year each grade 100% or together as one annual day in prabodhan and an auditorium that is a call that we'll take later after all the experiences and the feedback that we'll get from all of you so just wait for a while about 5 minutes more and we shall begin so here we begin with the show respected mona ma'am trustee malad cosmopolitan education trust our affable rushali ma'am mm -hmm. sona ma'am principal ca thakur complex sangeeta ma'am primary headmistress ca thakur complex runali ma'am pre primary supervisor ca thakur complex and my dear parents a warm welcome to one and all present here we have gathered here for what you called a very fun filled afternoon this afternoon belongs to you and to your children the children who have had their hearts and soul for the last 3 months and have made this look possible so i want a big round of applause for your own children come on parents that's not an energetic applaud thank you We are glad to have you here with us on this day when our school is celebrating its cultural extravaganza you can expect splendid and complete entertainment ahead the children's performance shall definitely leave you mesmerized i now invite miss megan and miss parnokshi to take ahead the show it has been said nothing can dim the light that shines from within we will now have our traditional auspicious lamp lighting ceremony as a tribute to mother saraswati the goddess of knowledge and ask her to give us wisdom to make this world a better place i request all the dignitaries to come forward to light the lamp
along with all my faculty members, parents, and my dear students who are backstage. A very good afternoon to all of you. I deem it my privilege to welcome you all on this special day and present the report on our journey of resilience, teamwork, and never say die attitude by each and every member of Children's Academy during the course of unprecedented times that we all have witnessed. The acad Academy as one unit underwent restoration, evolution, transformation under the ages of our able first family. During this entire period of turbulence, what kept us strong was our commitment to nurturing students into well-balanced individuals, ready to be the part of global order and at the same time be rooted in the ethos and culture of our motherland. Every step that was taken during the pandemic and post that assured that we focus on academic rigor and the overall development of students, which was the dream of our visionary founder, late Sri Vivi Bhatt. The innumerable awards that have been bestowed on our school affirm that our quest for quality education goes on, be it the award for excellence in education or for excellence in learning assessment, impactful online initiatives or design thinking. They all demonstrate that we have proved ourselves time and again. This year, 2022-23 commenced with parents' orientation to acquaint them with the developments in the education system, the need of the hour, and our motto, followed by an followed by an investiture ceremony. The students with leadership qualities were commemorated as head girl, head boy, house leaders, and sports captain who took the oath of office, and henceforth all the council members have been proactive. India is an abode to the, one of the richest and the most ancient civilizations in the world, which existed for over 5,000 years. The celebration of festivals through class assemblies like Navratri, Onam, etc. gives us an insight into our rich cultural heritage. The precincts of the school are now hustling with the usual hubbub of theme-based assemblies, colorful special displays, food festivals, inter-school events, sports and plenty more. Our school conducted special assemblies by inviting guests from prominent fields to guide our students and share their collaborative experiences. The celebration of Republic Day and Independence Day reminded the struggle of our freedom fighters to gain freedom and our duties to preserve it. In-house design programs have been introduced in the primary section. To begin with, BTG, Bridging the Gap, is a program initiated in the section which is on the lines of Vidya Pravesh of NEP. It helps to bridge the gap between senior KG and grade 1 children. LEAP, Learning Enhancement Activity Program, is a theme-based program for students of grade 1 to 5 where students read books, they enact stories, they watch the stories, and they also discuss their views and opinions on the same. PET is a program to enhance thinking technique. It is initiated and introduced to enhance the anal analytical and logical reasoning thinking techniques in students. ACE, which is Accelerate Your Competitive Edge, it is a non-instructional and a no-bag day where formal studies take a back seat, but it comprises of important day celebrations, activities, life skill sessions, projects, and interclass competitions, which help, to help the children to accelerate their competitive edge. edX, EduConnection, is also a no-back day. This program is introduced again on the lines of NEP to establish integration of subjects with interdisciplinary approach. As you all are aware that in this world of globalization, it is imperative to share ideas and plan to keep yourself in the race. Our collaboration with English Advantage from Cambridge University 
helped us narrow the disparity between the education systems for the betterment through young learners English that is YLE. Our school has consciously incorporated ready for 21st century learner skills. This is RF21 which helps to impart invaluable five C's that is critical thinking, compassion, creativity, collaboration and communication skills to our students within and outside the ambit of our classrooms. The topics which encompass these skills are friendship, teamwork, time management, waste management, event management, etc. Mathematics is a methodical application of matter and we have an excellent online practice program called First in Math or FIM to build the students' mathematical skills and expertise. Children's Academy Thakur Complex ranks first in the school district level, top school in Maharashtra and second internationally. The best player of our school, Mr. Master Shore Ayer from 5th standard is also a state and a national level topper because of his family involved as a fa top family player. Then we have the second uh, ranked with Master Riday Shukla from 5th D and Vivan Mohile. Again, their families have also scored uh, being the top family players and they have also scored levels on state and nationals. We must appreciate that these children are not just uh, doing well, but they are also doing well in the class, not just FIM and earning stickers and all that. We never stop exploring possibilities for making our classrooms more engaging. The installation of interactive boards is one such initiative that we have taken to kindle young minds curiosity. Inter-school competitions give exposure to our students to meet higher challenges. They learn to cope with the pressure of competing with the best. I draw great pride to share that we got the best zone trophy in Ritanjali competition, best school trophy in ACS competition, where not only the children, but even teachers participated and won. Then we have Ms. Rashmi Sanju and Ms. Mary Pereira who have excelled at Teacherathon, which is an All India Excellence Award in teaching by Podar School. Keeping the trend this year, we also conducted parents competition for which I must confess the results were exuberant. Thank you parents for your participation. And how can we forget grandparents who share a special bonding with their grandchildren? So Grandparents Day celebration is a tribute to all the grandparents. Management of Children's Academy has always believed that a safe and supportive school environment is essential for an effective learning environment. For this, you can witness that all our staff, not just teaching, teaching, non-teaching, coaches, even the hobby class uh, trainers, they undergo a special training to ensure that the children are safe. Education is incomplete without sports. Primary section had its sports day, which showcased the efficacy and fortitude and robustness through run fundraisers, sprints, relays, and the most exhilarating se section of the sports day was parents race and the colorful displays. Our winning spree continued in the sports arena as well, where the prizes reigned in incessantly. We swelled with pride when the overall championship trophy was awarded by Poyser Jim Khanna to Children's Academy group of schools. Our young budding athlete, Master Francis Jose, he has bagged the best athlete in boys category in Poyser Jim Khanna, Uttar Mumbai Krida Mahotsav, MSSA, YMCA, MSDAA and our children Francis Jose, Kavya Vagela, Riyansh Patil, Vihan Valunj, Anj Kharae, Sana Satam, Ishan Hegishte, Yuvan Shah, Kanvi Panchal, Prerit Bhandari, Drish Popat and Kavya Savalia. They have been selected to play at the Mumbai sub-junior state level, which is going to be held at, in Kal Kolhapur. Then we also have a stellar performer, Miss Girisha Pai, who is a tiny tot, but she has won several medals in MSSA International Chess Tournament, Uttar Mumbai Krida Mahotsav, DCA Inter School, 
chess tournament, Prabodhan Krida Mahatsav, Inter School and many others. Same way, Master Devesh Madnani, our budding grandmaster, he has also brought in many laurels to himself and school and recently he stood first and won a cash prize of 2000 in the chess competition conducted by MSDA. We congratulate all of our students, coaches and their mentors who have braced up and understood the, taught the children the know-how of the activities and the spirit of healthy competitiveness. The takeaway is not only the prizes and the adulation they win, but it also helps them the interpersonal and intrapersonal skills that they develop. We have adopted a life skill program by Ms. Suparna Singh. You might have heard about LID, Lessons in Dark, which are imparted regularly to induce self-awareness among students, motivate and teach them to be vocal about their unusual experiences to sensitize them to rich value systems. Field trips helps the students to integrate with what they're learning in class. So visiting uh, National Park, Birds Park, all these help the children to be sensitized about the extinction of wildlife. Kidzenia visit there helps the children to encounter various professions and job opportunities available in their own city. Grade 3 went for Mumbai Darshan where they learned the history and geography of their own city. Students were also taken to various picnic spots in accordance with their age to develop their social skills and which also includes complete entertainment. Social excursions are a great way for primary students to develop their social skills, further their learning and have fun with their friends outside of the familiar school grounds. Keeping this in mind, grade 4 had the privilege to go and explore Karjat along with their friends during an overnight stay. Fifth graders got a chance to spend two nights outside at Baroda Tent City. Grade 3, we took them into the school arena, the known surrounding for an overnight camp. We are supporting the students of an underprivileged school. And to meet their educational needs, we have collaborated and encouraged them to participate in learning together. And that's where you see them participating in our sports day, annual days. Uh, they are going to participate with for grade four annual day along with our children. Our school had initiated a project for the students of grade one to 10 with Eco Bricks. This was a pledge to recycle and this was started at on World Earth Day and culminated on World Environment Day. Students were thrilled to make seats and tables with eco bricks which they shared with the para children and they were using it as furniture for their classrooms. This is in association with INSEED the NGO and now these eco bricks are also used by the same classrooms of para school to make even build walls. We have honored our COVID warriors by inviting them to school during Raksha Bandhan. Let us now move ahead with the gathered experiences to set goals for the future along with the development of core competencies aligned with the recommendations of NEP 2020. At this juncture, I take pride in announcing that CAGS has taken yet another plunge to usher in the unique program designed to bring the academic rigor and global focus of the International Baccalaureate. This IBCP program would empower students with new age skills through career related courses. To acknowledge and appreciate the continuous hard work put in by the students and parents, Team Children's Academy has ensured 100% participation in this cultural extravaganza. And somehow we have all together turned this impossible task into I am possible. And by involving all the students grade wise. So ladies and gentlemen, first in your seat well to embark on this mystic journey around the world. And through these vibrant and enchanting performances of the students. Welcome grade one to their musical play where they peek into the world of Snow White and Rose Red. Thank you for your patient listening. Happy viewing. Of course.
Megan. We all have been eagerly waiting for this special moment. So, get ready for all the excitement and mesmerizing performances put forth by the multi-talented students of Grade 1. Often ran about in the forest. 
Everything around looks fresh and green. Thank <laughs> you. 
of their day. This performance promises to be unique and different.
Wasn't that a mesmerizing event? Yeah. An energetic, louder, louder applause. Three cheers to grade one. Hip hip. Hip hip. Hip hip. Thank you so much. Now I invite Ms. Manisha to give the vote of thanks. Post that we will have the dispersal order announced and then only you will move. Okay. Thank you. Good afternoon. Gratitude is the greatest prayer and thank you is the greatest mantra. Respected dignitaries, my distinguished guests, dear parents and all my dear students, I take pride in proposing the vote of thanks for this annual celebration at Children's Academy Thakur Complex. We would like to express our gratitude to the management, your unconditional support on all fronts has always served as a booster for many of our achievements. A very special thanks to our own spirited Mona ma'am, without whom the team TC is listless. She has been a strong base for today's event as well. An event like this cannot happen overnight. The wheels started rolling months ago and a bird's eye for details by our own Sangeeta ma'am. Our branding team, led by Mishra Dabhat, the branding manager, a very proactive and a dedicated person to help us with all the colorful invites and the banners. I extend our sincere thanks to all the choreographers, Mr. Chetan, Mr. Sagar, Ms. Aarti and Mr. Anil for untiring efforts in putting forth a performance that has just dazzled you. I also extend my deep appreciation for all the art masters for creating such a grandiose backdrops and props. We thank. It requires a big round of applause. Thank you so much for the appreciation, parents. Um, we uh, we are thank we would like to thank our associates, Mr. K. U. Bhagat, Ms. Rita Ragani for audio recording, uh, so Mr. Ba uh, Mr. Salim of Baba Video, Mr. Piyush Jaglawala for photography, Mr. Raj Kumar for IT support, Mr. Atul Pakre for vibrant and colorful costumes. A special thanks to Mr. Paul for providing us with refreshment for all our dear students as well as the staff. Here, I would also like to take an opportunity to thank all the heads and principals of different branches who have been present here for the and given us their valuable time. Let me garner a huge round of applause for entire team and the faculty members who have worked continuously without without even a break on Sundays to ensure the flawless and the diligent performance that you have just witnessed. The equally significant contribution from our ancillary staff is noteworthy and deserves a huge round of applause as well. Let me reiterate that without the cooperation of all the wonderful parents and the splendid efforts of our dear students, we would have never had a uh, dream and passion to make it all happen. Despite performing after a gap of three years with their sheer determination of our students have ensured that you have witnessed a magnificent program. Thank you for your overwhelming acknowledgement. Thank you once again. Please rise. 
please rise for the national song parents enjoyed yes. you might have felt it's so simple the children are just coming for a you know few minutes but you don't ask what goes behind this the child doesn't know where to stand they lip sing all each and everybody's dialogues and uh, so much that you must actually come and witness what's happening around in the background and as i told you you are entering the den so you can't leave the den till the program is over that's when we told you to be seated and now as you can see we have not accommodated you item wise we allowed you to sit wherever you can so we will start the dispersal order but i'll just announce the names of the events you might have seen your children in most colorful dresses especially papas they may not recognize because the children have now changed the costumes have to be returned so uh, that is why i'm announcing the names of the events so we will have uh, welcome song students then we'll have the entire play the musical play snow white and rose red then you had ribbon dance sounds of spring that's the spring dance then ballroom dance fashion show and finale so these are the items that your children had participated in now when you go out the children are getting down so have some patience and stand in these item wise lines okay you cannot stand a b c d wise you will not stand division wise you will stand according to your child's item welcome song finale dance ribbon dance spring dance play fashion show all these you have to the teachers will guide you please wait have patience and as we leave the children give them a tight hug and appreciate all that they do all whatever they have done here it's real hard work it's not a joke to come up here on the stage and perform everybody gets scared they get cold feet there were times earlier when children used to start crying when they would come up on the stage and they would pull their dresses and all now the children are little confident they're doing well but we it's very important that we appreciate their efforts and go home and celebrate the evening okay tomorrow is a regular day <laughs> no rest we don't rest we work and you have had enough of holidays and rehearsal days and this and that now it will be bang on back to academics so please send the children don't tell them tell me that they were tired so go home and give them enough rest tomorrow is school as usual okay